Hey, what's up, guys? This is Game Guy, and I am now returning to YouTube. So, I took a very long break, and I didn't mean to take such a long break, and it was mainly because of my work schedule and everything, and I was busy all of the time, and plus my PC. But now I have some great news. I finally have a custom book computer, and I'm going to be talking about that. Uh, you'll see some Grand Theft Auto gameplay in the background right now. Uh, that's what I chose to share because I'm also using my Elgato. This is my first video with the Elgato recorded. So I'm super excited about that. My Elgato is working fun. I'm going to be able to do like live commentaries and everything very easy now. Um, but before I tell tell you guys about the parts, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm already out of breath because I haven't done a commentary in so long. So I'm not used to talking in a long time, uh, whatever. Something like that. <laughs> I'm not used to talking for such a long time without taking a lot of breaths. But anyway, uh, before I tell you about my computer parts and everything, I just want to say that my computer is working great. I actually built it myself. Um, the editing software, I haven't rendered anything yet. This is going to be my first video that I'm going to be rendering. And I will put in the comments how long it took to render. But um, I've already played the videos inside the editing software. Everything is very, very quick. Everything's very smooth. And it just all works amazingly. And I'm super excited about it. But now I'm going to get into the parts. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to go grab the part list. And then I'll be right back. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I am back. I have the part list right here. So, for the operating system, that's you know pretty much the most important thing. Without an operating system, you can't have all your software or whatever on it. I chose Windows 7 Professional. I would have went with Windows 7 Home Premium but be, because it's cheaper, but on Amazon it was a bunch of different sellers and Windows 7 Professional was actually in stock at Amazon's factories and I trusted Amazon more than these other sellers because a lot of reviews for Home Premium said that their w copy of Windows was not real. You know, it wasn't genuine. So I decided to go with uh, professional, and my copy happens to be real, genuine. So super excited about that. Uh, for the case, I went with the Corsair Obsidian Series 750D full tower case. Um, the processor, Intel Core i7-4790K processor. It's the new uh, Intel processor that has a base clock speed of 4.0 gigahertz. So that's extremely fast. Um, I'm actually using the stock fan for it. I did get the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler, but it seemed crazy to install. I mean, this is my first build ever. Uh, so <laughs> I didn't really get it installed. I just went with the stock fan because it was a lot more simpler and apparently that it, it's supposed to be a lot quieter and it keeps uh, the processor cooler than the stock fan does the Intel processor came with but I decided to go with uh, the Intel stock processor just for now you know I may put that in late at a later date but I was in a rush to get it done because I had to go to work and I didn't end up going to sleep until 6 30 in the morning and I had to go to sleep and then wake up and get to work uh, at 2.45 to clock in. So, yeah, I didn't really get a whole lot of sleep, but that's besides the point. Um, the motherboard, I went with the Asus or Asus Z97-A. Um, I've become a big fan of Asus or Asus, whatever you want to call it. I call it Asus, but a lot of people call it Asus. Um, I believe it can be called either way. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but uh, yeah, I went with that pro or motherboard, the RAM. I went with the Corsair Vengeance 16 gigabytes. That's a lot of RAM. Uh, you only need eight gigabytes of RAM to have a really good gaming PC. Is that's what a lot of people say? But I went with 16 gigabytes just because I do a lot of video editing and stuff like that, and I need a lot of RAM for that. And it turned out to work great. So, yeah. Um, hard drive, I didn't go with a solid state drive just because they're expensive, but I went with the Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive, and it's the uh, black edition. It's supposed to be really good for gaming and uh, media, stuff like what I do. I also went with the Asus 
24 times DVD RW. Well, it's, it's the optical drive. <laughs> it can burn and play DVDs and CDs and everything like that. Um, graphics card, I went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 780 Super Clocked. I almost went with the 780 Ti, which is like the best uh, graphics card on the market, but uh, I decided to go $200 cheaper for the 780, and I guess it's like the third best on the market, according to, you know, all of the benchmarks and everything that I looked at. And uh, the power supply went with a Corsair Professional Series 650 watts. That's uh, the 650HX. Uh, it's a good power supply, and it's like 150 more watts than I actually need to run my PC so I could upgrade and things like that. But yeah, that's all that I got from my PC. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's my PC. Um, but like I said, everything's running great. It's working fine. It was my first computer build. It was actually really, really uh, tense, I guess. You know, I was kind of nervous because I never did anything like this before, but it went well together. The only problems I actually had were the... There's this little metal piece that you put on the back of the uh, computer case where the ports on the motherboard slide out where you actually you know plug in the USB ports and everything there's this little metal piece there you pop it into place it's I think it's like a shield pretty much but like there's these little metal pieces on it that actually went into like one of the USB drives and the other one went into the LAN where you plug in your Ethernet cable from your router and uh, I actually had to get a like scissors and pull those metal pieces out and bend them outwards that way I could actually plug the things in but uh, yeah that was the only screw ups I had everything else is working fine I found that hilarious that that was what happened but you know whatever it was easily taken care of and nothing was damaged or anything so I'm excited about that but uh, yeah I'm, I'm ready to return to YouTube start uploading a lot more videos and everything now that I have you know, a custom built computer. I still have to get a desk and upgrade my setup and everything, but pretty soon I'll be uploading videos on a regular schedule. The only thing that will stop me from uploading tons of videos is my internet connection. Got a terrible internet connection. Uh, this computer will render out videos insane, insanely fast, but my internet will upload uh, videos insanely slow. So. That's it for now, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be doing an Xbox One review, my Asus or Asus monitor review, the Scuf One Red review, and I'm going to be talking about Advanced Warfare, Destiny, and a bunch of other games that I'm excited for. Just try to create a lot of cool content for you guys and hopefully improve by Advanced Warfare comes out. By the time Advanced Warfare comes out, I hope to have improved in video making because I'm going to be doing live commentaries and everything. You know, I'm super excited, guys. Hope you are too. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.